So, I didn't eat it for 15 minutes. And I'm gonna enjoy it. And in the UK, they call it white pudding. And don't ask me why. So, let's make a bulk brei. White pudding. We need one and a half liter of water. I will add 500 gram of pork liver with it. I also have 500 gram grinded pork belly. And then I will add some cubes. Normally you would think I would buy ham cubes, but then it becomes probably a little bit too porky. So today I'm gonna use chicken cube stocks. Yeah, I know the pan is a little bit full, but it is full, no problem. In the Netherlands we call this rommelkruid, but it is now uh, in reality Chinese five spies. And there are clothes there's nutmeg in it, there is anise seed is in it, and cinnamon. So I'm gonna add there one and a half a spoon in it, and I'm gonna add extra nutmeg and extra cinnamon. And I added the cinnamon after I finalized this part, so that's why I put it. So now I'm gonna add the three cubes of chicken stock in it, and a little bit salt, and this all has to cook. And I did it on a low fire for probably one and a half hour. So, after one and a half hour, we're gonna blend the liver and the minced pork belly. Now, I have only a small blender or mincer, so I do it uh, several times. But you've got the idea if you have a bigger one, that is uh, great. But I use now just my little one. I did it in uh, three times. I left behind 1.2 liter of stock, and uh, with that, and together with the minced ingredients, we're gonna make the bokkebrei. So, all the minced liver and the pork belly goes in a separate pan. So we do that three times and then we're going to add the stock. So we're going to add 1.2 liter of the stock. Now we're going to taste it and you see it's a mixture of 50-50, 50% 50 -50 of the pork liver and the bone belly and 50% stock and I thought okay let's give it a, a little bit more nutmeg and a little bit more cinnamon and then we're gonna add some extra pepper fresh grinded pepper and a little bit salt. Do it on your own taste. Remember on the moment you finalize it it's getting weaker of the book meat. Yeah it's not uh, cheap here in the UK. Uh, I only can get it as an organic product but you see book wheat and I bought it at uh, the Tesco. So I used 405 gram, but first the 200 gram goes first in because we have to make yeah, 
concrete or cement as we call it it has to be thick so when it's cooked down so that we can cut it and the stock was cooking so slowly it will also cook we stir until the first batch is gone then fill it up with the other 100 gram that is still in the bowl and then I'm gonna add the other 200 gram and I leave around 180 190 gram it's just how thick it is but you will see in the pan it is a matter of feeling because company to company that makes the buckwheat buckwheat uh, is different one company has buckwheat has more starch than the other one so you just stir it until it is very thick and it is tough but uh, it's too thin we cannot cut it and it will stick in the pan and if it's too thick it will be too dry so just i have the feeling that it's big and thick concrete but you see it here in the pan how it uh, looks like and just stir it so that it cooks a little bit because later on we're gonna have to fry this so we're gonna prepare the whole mass to put in a container first i'm gonna put some buckwheat flour in the bottom so it's easy to release and then we're gonna fill up the container now the problem is we don't want air sockets so try to fill it up nice push it and then soon you will see I also will make a movement to get the air pockets out if there are air pockets in so with a spoon I'm gonna push it a little bit and smoothen everything up and then uh, yeah on the moment that the spoon is sticky just yeah push it in the buckwheat so that it isn't sticky anymore on top we're gonna put also a little bit buckwheat because on the moment it is nice cold then we can turn it around yeah first I had it uh, cool down a little bit to a temperature of 30 degrees and then I put it in the fridge for three hours so you turn it around because of the buckwheat it is easy and it looks beautiful it is like a stone and it's hard it's supposed to be so time to cut some beautiful slices so that we can fry it in our veggie oil in the frying pan but you see it's beautiful you see the pieces of liver you see the pieces of the pork belly fat yeah those are the white pieces Put some oil in the pan, heat up the pan when it's hot. We can bake it. Bake it a beautiful gold brown on both sides. And that would be probably one and a half minutes on both sides. And meanwhile, I took some fresh white bread, a little bit of butter on it. And this is a delicious dish from the Netherlands. 
You can buy it in the UK, but they are round sausages, and this is just like a square Scottish sausage. These are slices. It's easy to eat and easier to fry in the pan. So you see, two times one and a half minutes on either side, nice golden brown and ready to put on a sandwich. So I'm going to make a sandwich, yes, two slices on one side and a beautiful fresh slice of bread. So I didn't eat it for 15 years and I'm going to enjoy it.